Listen, if you love a good mystery, tell them. Well, next week, Netflix drops its new limited series, Echoes. Mm -hmm. And the show is about identical twin sisters who've been secretly swapping each other's lives until one of them disappears. Hmm. Karen Robinson plays Sheriff Louise Floss, who's looking to solve the case. All I know is that my sister is missing and possibly dead. When we found a body by now. This terrain's tricky. Or somebody might have her or she's just run away. Run away from what? That'd be the question. Nothing ominous about that. Karen <laughs> Robinson joins us live this morning in the studio. Such a pleasure to have you here. I am so morning. excited to be here. Yeah. We're excited to have you. This Absolutely. is great. We have so much to talk about. But since you're a pretty big deal, and are, yes. you're huge. You're a huge deal for us. I mean, we, we, had to keep, we had to the keep floor the people. Was but the show is obviously called New York Living. Okay. And for the summer, you've been living I have. in New York. Yes, what do you indeed. love most about living here? You know what? Um, when I was little, my mom actually used to uh, work in New York. We grew up in Jamaica, but my mom used to come to New York to work for several months of the year. And the best thing about being here is that I feel like I'm walking in my oh. footsteps. Oh. That's my great. mom passed away two and a half years ago. I'm not going to cry. Okay. Um, so I feel like I'm sort of rediscovering this mm -hmm. world that she used to come home and tell oh. us about. And then the other great thing about living in New York for the summer is that because I'm from Toronto, mm -hmm. I walk like a Torontonian, which is kind of like walking like a New Yorker, <laughs> so which means that I don't get on people's nerves because I don't step. I don't stop in the right. middle Thank of the sidewalk. Right. Thank you. To I don't do that. Who does we just that? had New York City yes. etiquette yesterday. And that was one of the big things. So walk like you're going somewhere. Walk like time. you're going somewhere or get out of the way. Or get so out of the way. that being said, what's some of the trying things that you find a little bit, oh, the city's a little rough sometimes. Okay, you know what? Being here, I thoroughly enjoy being in New York. Before I got here, I had to find a place to live. Oh, and eighth that circle of hell. was that's right. intense. Now yes. That was, now especially, and that's why everyone was telling me. So it, it was avoiding the scammers and mm -hmm. all of the online sites and, you know, and looking for exactly the right place because I'm a woman of a certain age. There's certain things I oh, need. Honey. And I was like, okay, <laughs> so I want laundry on premises yeah. and I want an outside and people just just laughed at me. I landed really well okay. because the person who was helping me said to me at one point, God's got you. That's oh. right. And I calmed right down and found myself a great place. This is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck. Congratulations on the apartment. I'm so Thank glad you. you're walking Thank in your mom's footsteps. You. Yes. And yes. I just learned a new phrase also, Torontonian. Yeah. Like folks from Toronto. From Toronto. Yeah. Not a yeah, Toronto word. Yeah. It doesn't Toronto, go. No. No. Torontonian. Torontonian. Okay. But but if we're just saying the name of the place, yeah. we call it Toronto. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's fine. <laughs> Whatever. I need to, I need I to get so. out. I yeah. need to get out. It's of inconsistent. Can we talk about Echoes? Because I was yes, watching the trailer yeah. and I thought, there's my girl. Oh. <laughs> She's out there telling folks the way it is. So That's tell us right. about how you. How did this all come to pass? Oh, you know, as actors, we do all of these auditions, and because of the situation we're in right now, we do them in our living room basically mm. so my first audition was was a self tape in my living room then you forget about it because you living your life and I go off to visit my father in a different province in Canada mm -hmm. we have provinces here you have states so I was in, in another province and I get the call back and it had to be on zoom oh, sheesh. and so I had to start borrowing clothes from friends <laughs> and setting up the little room in their house for the audition for Echo. for the callback for Echo. And I figured, you know, I went through all of that. They better give me this. <laughs> <laughs> really? And you earned sure it. Enough. I guess they did. And I'm so, so grateful because I worked with the most amazing bunch of people. And uh, speaking of which, uh, most folks obviously know you as Ronnie from Schitt's Creek, uh -huh. another amazing ensemble. Oh, tell what me What was that it. whole experience like? Did you do five years with that? Six years. Six, Six years. years, yeah. When we first started out, I knew about, um, you know, Catherine O'Hara, and I knew Eugene Levy, I knew their names, mm -hmm. I followed their careers. Uh, it was the discovery of how 
uber talented they were in real life and how um, uh, how they were all about the collective experience. They set the tone for that, for that series. And then, you know, running into people like Dan Levy sure. and Annie and, 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 and you know. And uh, Catherine and, and all those folks. All yeah. of those. Yeah, Jennifer becoming friends with all those mm -hmm. people. And um, I felt like I was... I was existing in the stratosphere of stardom. I mean, they were just so, so funny, so intelligent, so and you, and resourceful. And you were part of that yeah. whole thing. Is there part of any that. chance, any chance there would be a reunion or a movie or With something? Okay. Where's my camera? Is that my? Yeah. Okay. Well, that, yeah. this, there you go. Right here. This, is, this is my neutral face. <laughs> nice answer. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Ah, that's that's, right. that's actually that's a Ronnie answer right there. That's, that's right. That's, that's a, right. That's, that's a right. Ronnie answer. Um, I don't think that anything is outside of the realm of possibility. Okay, good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I adored Ronnie. I have to tell you. Thank you, you. Every scene that you were in, I mean, it was utilized so yeah. amazing. That character was. Oh, yeah. thank you so much. I adored playing her, and I gotta say, it's the most comfortable I've ever been on a set. Wow. Because well, because she didn't have to have a waistline. <laughs> <laughs> she, you know what I'm saying? Her shoes, Everything her ill-fitting was... jeans. Stop it. it stop Please. it. Stop it. I know we have to go. How much of that show was ad-libbed? How much of it was yeah. actually scripted? Because I ha got to tell you, I would pause and I'd say, I think you mm. made that up. That's I good. think, okay, I, I think the writers on that show, I know the writers on that show, they were absolutely phenomenal. But you give that material to people like Eugene mm -hmm. and Catherine and Dan and, you. and Annie mm -hmm. and me and Jen and you know and you and um and Emily and you get you it elevates mm -hmm. it elevates mm -hmm. the uh, what we are the stuff that we already got was so spectacular but in the hands of people who know what to do mm -hmm. with that stuff sure. come on yeah. sure yeah yeah, yeah. It's some shows. ad living some ad living but actually by the time we got to camera it was it was already there it was already there. There. It was already yeah. oh my gosh Fantastic. We could talk forever here. Forever and ever and ever. Thank you for joining us. Good Thank luck with everything. Yes. Me. Thank so you. So fantastic. Echoes premieres on Netflix next Friday, August 19th. Karen Robinson, thanks so much for joining us again. Well,